Hello everyone, Pastor Richmond here. I hope you are all doing great. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Now we are still on our foundations or principles of stewardship, principles of management, principles of God kinds of managers. God created everything. He gave it to man and woman to continue or to maintain it, to manage it. It is key to understand what management is. Without management, everything will be in utter distraction or it will be in utter confusion. God is expecting us to use his spirit within us, his spirit of creation, his spirit of maintenance, his spirit of justice to do everything in a way and manner that will bring glory to his name. All right, so we are looking at partnership. We as managers or stewards, we should remember that we are partners. We are partners with who? We are partners with the creator. So we shouldn't be affected with entropy. There should be the kind of connection. There should be the kind of cordial relationship within us or between us and our creator since we are partners. It is God who employed us into this work. We should always acknowledge him. Praise the Lord. We are going to read 1 Corinthians 3, 9. Stewardship involves partnership with the steward and the owner. Humans are co-laborers with God, as is stated in 1 Corinthians 3, 9. So, stewardship or management is a collaborative task. You can never claim that you are on your own. You are working for somebody. Whether you are a Christian or not Christian, you need to understand it. You need to understand this as a word of wisdom and then align yourself as such. Now I'm reading 1 Corinthians 3.9. 1 Corinthians 3, 9. Okay. Now, Paul was addressing divisions in the church. But I'm not going to read everything. But we should remember that we are what? Culebrates or partners with God. Now, the nice is, for we are both God's workers and you are God's field. You are God's building. Now, we are not on our own. We depend on God. The moment you isolate or disconnect with God, you are nobody. Remember, in the creation story or in the beginning, God. It was God who created us and then gave us his breath. To become a living being. Even as you go through your day-to-day -day management activities, you should remember this, that you are partnering with God. Now, always ask this question in your pursuit. How will God do what I'm doing if he was supposed to be here right now? This will go a long way to help us do things just as God will want it done. In order to answer this question, you also need to be in line with God. How do you be in line with God? Through meeting with like-minded people, God kind of people through reading the scriptures. You can do these things, not just some few days or 
one day show it should be a daily routine before you take the step to your workplace you should remember that you are going there to represent god as your creator and as your master the moment you try to disconnect or you try to be independent that means you are going to do things in your own understanding now this is how far we've come as humans that is why we are doing things without um, consideration or we are doing things that are not how God will have done them. So as Christians, as believers, or as individuals who hear my voice this day, you should remember that everything, all the things we see, all the things we are yet to discover, they belong to God. So if you are the person who discovered it, if you are the person who is in charge, note that you are partnering with God. It is God who gave you that position. It is God who has given you that managerial position. It is God who has made you that steward. So in partnering, that means you are partnering with what? Your master. Your master being God you being the servant, you should always listen to him. If you listen to him, he is going to guide your step and then it will go a long way to be a blessing. Thank you for being with me. We'll be looking at the last principle, which is integrity in our next day to come. Shalom. My name is Pastor Richmond. You can visit me by going through my website, which is pastormanqua.com. God be with us all. Bye-bye.